Greetings, Tom Romeo here from Practical Compliance Solutions, here to show you how you can use Traverse to track medical instruments in a hospital setting. As you can see, um, I've got a few assets set up. I've got an autoclave pan, and you can see there's a, a photo of this pan. Also, notice that it contains several items. So it's got some forceps, and a suction tube. Looks like this. OK, so let's go back to that item. <clears throat> so here's my autoclave pan, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check it out. I'm going to check it out to a person. Uh, this is a fictional person, Harrow Martin, and I'm going to say the asset will not be taken off premises. Okay, it was checked out successfully. Notice in my little blue box that Mr. Martin now has the item. It's currently checked out, as you can see here. And if you look at the child items, you will note that they too are also checked out to Mr. Martin. So these items that are inside this asset, this pan, are contained and all belong to that pan. So if I come back to users, Mr. Martin, oh, that's the person, hold on, users, if I go down and I go look at that asset, you'll notice in the tree it's got forceps and the suction tube, and each of those items are in fact checked out to the same person. Okay, so now we're going to take that pan And we're going to check it in, and this time we're going to check it in to a sterilization unit. And we're going to say that, notice how I could flip from true to false, we're going to say that it failed sterilization. Okay. So now my check-in event has completed. If I go home, you'll notice now I have an alert that this item has failed sterilization. Also, uh, very soon, if not immediately, I will receive an email. There it is. It's in my junk mail. I'm going to drag that over to my inbox. And you'll note that this email is not just an email. but it is a, an appointment. So I have an action item. I have something that I'm supposed to do. I have to go fix that sterilization unit. Okay, so let's go back out of my mail. And you'll see here now that I've got this sterilization unit, um, the, the item failed the sterilization. I now can go and find that item again. and I can rectify uh, the situation. Uh, you'll note here that sterilization failed. And you'll also note that on each of the child items, sterilization has failed. So now I'm going to say, hey, you know what? It did succeed on the second try. I'm going to now check it in. But this time, I'm going to bring it to an OR. Oh, maybe not that one. Well, OK, it doesn't matter where we take it. And this time I'm going to say it succeeded. Check it in. And now you'll note that the sterilization failed checkbox is no longer filled, nor is it filled on any of the items. 
So this is how Traverse can track these items very easily. Note now where the item is. It's in this cardiothoracic unit. Um, now, if each of these items were to be tagged with an RFID tag, then we could have a station set up right here inside of this uh, location, right, this, this location, and we can uh, scan the tray and see what items are in there. And if all it doesn't detect all the items that belong to that tray, then we could raise another flag saying, oh, you know, you're missing this. And what we'll do is we could also, after the operation is complete, before we're going to move this tray out of the operating room, we can then uh, scan it again on post-op. And then if all the items that belong to that tray are not contained within that tray, then we'll raise another flag saying, you know, maybe we left something behind. I'm not going to say it's inside the patient, but, you know, anything could happen. So this is the end of our first recording. This is the high-level overview. Next recording is going to show you how we set all this up.